Hello, this is Dr. Shweta Aradhi and welcome to the Limitless Brain Lab channel. Today, I am going to give you a super secret morning routine which is highly scientific. It is so scientific that your entire body's clock is dependent on it. In fact, we are going to soon have a neuro clock and a ritual program as well. I would like to invite you for that particular program as well. Now, you may be wondering, why am I talking of so much of routine and ritual? By the way, first of all, I would like to ask you a question. What is a habit? What is a routine? And what is a ritual? You may be wondering that, why am I asking this question? What really does it make a difference to have a routine and a ritual? And why am I picking particularly morning rituals? Well, I wish that I was able to talk to you right from 5 a.m. in the morning, which I don't practice, so I'm not going to talk about it. Generally, I like to talk something which is experiential for me, something which I have also done. But I'm going to talk to you about a regular morning routine, and this is so important to set your clock for life. Now, every Everything in the body is a rhythm. The moment you are out of the rhythm, diseases follow. In fact, the master clock of your brain is called the suprachiasmatic nucleus. From the SCN, all the different 300 body clocks follow. There is a clock in the pancreas, there's a clock in the kidney, there's a clock in the liver, micro clocks. Now just imagine for a little while, the moment you wake up in the morning, your cortisol, your adrenaline, your noradrenaline does not follow which means you will not get that effect. You will not be able to be comfortable. You will not be able to even stand up. So, so important that when the factory is starting, that kick starts, you should have all the best of the hormones helping you out. Most of the people feel tired, fog, brain fog. I cannot think. There is too much of confusion. I'm anxious. I cannot perform. There's overthinking. There's anxiety. There's sleep issues. Everything the world is facing right now because we have gone out of rhythm. Being in the rhythm is so important. The suprachiasmatic nucleus makes the uh, entire system kickstart. All the clocks follow. Now, there was a good old, uh, you know, I just visited Korea and I saw a nice Chinese calendar there where people uh, were talking about how the Chinese calendar keeps one healthy. Ayurveda calendar has very nice vat, pit and cuff and as you can see different different timings where you should do all the right things. We are going to talk in details. Do not forget to sign up for the course. It's coming soon because this particular one ritual talk is going to change your life for good. Three hours, very powerfully myself and experiential session by Monica Singhalji. We are going to bring out the science and spirituality. My job is always to get you into the mode of science. I want you to think, why should the rhythm be out sync? Why are we out of sync with this rhythm? The very first thing is, we have started to do things which are totally off. Example, now in the good old days, there used to be no artificial lights. There used to be only sunlight. Millions of years, your brain has lived with the sunlight. Now, all of a sudden, that sunlight is out of your life. In the morning, when you wake up, there is no sunlight. In the night, when you go to sleep, you are using so much of artificial light that the brain has forgotten to kickstart that suprachiasmatic nucleus. So in this talk, I am going to talk to you about the morning routine with 5 S. Stay until the end because each and every S is going to change your life. The very first S is sunlight for your suprachiasmatic nucleus. Spend 5 minutes, just 5 minutes outside in the sun where you can do anything. You can do an arga where you are doing the thratak also. You are seeing that as well. Or you can just look at the sun. No need to look at the even sun directly. Just being in the sun is good enough to kickstart that chemical. All the chemical and everything will get started with that first S. The second S is sit in silence in the morning. Do not rush from the fast acting beta to suddenly, you know, you were completely delta, you were absolutely sleeping and suddenly the fast beating beta comes in. No, don't do that. Sit in silence. Give yourself some time because in that time you produce alpha. You slowly come out of the thing so all your chemicals get enough time. See, go ahead and see your hands. Karagre vasate lakshmi karamulle saraswati karamadhye tu govinda prabhate karadarshanam. When I was a kid, I used to be taught this. And I would wonder, why should I look at my hands and why should I wake up in the morning? Now I understand the neuroscience behind it. When I look at the hand, all I'm doing is I am focusing. I get up in the morning and I don't suddenly go into beta. I go ahead and focus. This focus, intense focus. 
with the chanting is actually giving alpha so this was a very easy way in the means to say alpha and in the process also i have thanked the saraswati ma i have thanked the uh, goddess i have thanked pretty much the entire existence my hands are the uh, world means by which i will do all the things in life so automatically i said lakshmi ji is also residing here saraswati ji is also residing here what a beautiful way but the real purpose was they wanted you to produce that alpha so sit in silence see your palm the fourth s is supplement your caffeine the very first thing in the morning you go ahead and drink a cup of coffee you will be crashing totally your adenosine levels adenosine is something which slowly builds up the moment you get a caffeine hit the adenosine is out of picture and then it becomes a very difficult time for the body to even generate melatonin at night the entire chemistry of melatonin and adenosine gets completely disrupted so about 60 to 90 minutes is what the research says that you have to avoid to take your first caffeine shot very important is supplement it with water it is so important that you hydrate yourself roughly 1 to 2% of the brain can get shrinked in night this is what the data says because of the dehydration for the entire night so going ahead and grabbing two or three glasses of water is just perfect and the last and most important fifth is having a swara yoga mandala principle in the morning the fall in the morning when you wake up go ahead and check your nadi is it breathing from the right or is it breathing from the left simply you make a little pyramid go ahead and watch our swara yoga courses on limitlessbrainacademy.com where you will find why should we do this what is the rationale etc so go ahead and check it which is the nostril which is active for me right now it's left every hour hour 15 minutes there is a change between right and left now for example i just woke up I sat in silence I went out in before I go out in the sun because sun does not come to my bed you know so I have to go to my terrace and then go ahead and take the sun so before I go ahead and take the sun I will have to get out of my bed before I get out of my bed I am sitting in silence I am seeing my palm I am speaking the shloka and the mantra I am spending 5 minutes there I am supplementing my coffee with the water all this is done and now I am using the swara yoga's mandala principle by which i will be for example my left nostril was active i will put my left foot to the ground and then go ahead and step out now initially i thought that how is this scientific you know what really happens if my left nostril and my left foot is not aligned so i uh, wanted to learn the little bit of basics of it and i started to monitor and be aware every single time i went into a new room a new uh let's say uh, i stepped into the car exactly the same process i kept on repeating kept on repeating you should also go ahead and do such audits because being aware having that experience for self is the best thing to have in life you cannot have a better experience than having that self experience to tell you the truth what is happening behind the scene so when of course i was reading the review of literature the literature says that in the magnetic earth uh, aligns now with your magnetic Uh, principles and your bio electrical coherence so that you are in sync with the cosmic rhythm well perfectly fine but i haven't measured bio uh, coherence i have no clue how to measure the magnetic field in fact that's what they say that you can't sleep in a certain position because that is against the magnetic earth's pole whether the magnetic earth's pole polar force is so powerful that it affects me i don't know because there's a mixed review of literature which is there but one thing i very carefully observed when i was doing and practicing this swara yoga mandala principle something interesting happened in fact when i was fully conscious and aware one time i stepped into the car and my driver went into a wrong route and there was an accident but luckily nothing happened to me or my driver so i was wondering well all this time i never practiced the mandala and suddenly you know i go ahead and practice this and this is happening well this is how the changes are noted by your brain when you do something with awareness well the real reason i feel uh, with and this is an open exploration because this is such an important and interesting fact well what does this mean is that there are meridians in the body these meridians are channels now those are basically energy channels so for example if i want to open the bottle 
I cannot say I'm going to open it like that because this is how I'm closing the bottle. I have to do a counterclockwise movement to open the bottle. In the same way, if I want my energy to flow and my energy system to be activated in the morning, then I need my meridians right. Because my entire autonomic plexus, my entire sympathetic and parasympathetic, my autonomic plexus is giving that small little nervous impulses and force to the brain as well. I'm aligning my brain with those plexuses. I'm aligning my meridian. I'm channelizing my energy. I'm channelizing my energy so that I can have a perfect balance into my physiological, chemical, electrical and structural processes. And that's how I keep myself healthy. So if you think a little deeper, you will start to realize that some little events, you may face something very different. You have to consciously be aware. What was your heart rate at that time? Nothing happened. There was a big accident. My car had to be completely given away. You know, my Audi had to be completely trashed, but nothing happened to me or my driver. And this is not a very long experiment. This was just it was not an experiment. It was my experience not long ago. And um, what a beautiful way to relate how, what happened at that point in time. Neither was my heart rate higher. Neither was I anxious. Neither was I really in panic. I was only in the state of gratitude that nothing happened to the other driver also who was pregnant or nothing happened to us as well. This is often the time where the energy channelization or your brain's processes, the limbic firing and the prefrontal cortex is how it plays a very important role. So go ahead and practice this 5S because this is a very, very powerful routine where you can change your life. Do not forget all the 5S's. And it is also a little test and memory for you without going ahead in the front. Can you narrate all the 5S? Go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Go ahead and practice it. Check it out for yourself because finally being in the rhythm with the clock and with in sync to the cosmos is something very powerful. Your health will never be lost. Relationship will never be lost. Wealth and prosperity will be all yours. However, I just talked about the 5S. I am going to bring an entire neuro rhythm. I am going to talk about the neuro rituals. We are going to talk about Zitberger, which is about the primary source of change, the environmental cues. We will be talking about all the tools which will help you keep the neuro rituals. What should you do at 12 o'clock? What should you do at 2? What should you do at 6? What should you do at 8, 10, 12? How is the entire clock in favor for you? So go ahead and join our course on the 17th of January where myself and founder of Haryom Smiles, Monika Singalji will also be there together. We'll see you in the course then. Take care.